Hello everyone! Welcome back to some more of our Three Kingdoms series. We're at the end of a turn. We're going to be destroying Lu Yanlan here, as well as the Lu Bu's. And we're going to take control of the Hot Empire. You know, uh, just a small thing, like controlling the Han. Actually, it is kind of a small thing, because I don't think the Han controls much territory anymore. They've been kind of taken out throughout the course of this campaign. Hmm. Let's negotiate. Ooh, only minus 1.3. I'm assuming you don't want the tribute. Okay. Hmm. Gonna request a... Hmm. Request food trade? Whoa. Alright. <laughs> Your lands are far to the south. I'm not gonna worry about it. Now we also have to worry about them taking Chung's, uh, Cheng's Sha. So that's good. We can be defensive and just kind of hang out. What? Um, so what does that do for our current... I can't lose Cao Cao. Confucius says it does not matter how slow you go so long as you do not stop. There are some who would bemoan a glacial pace, however, in lieu of more direct energetic action. Is one greater than the other? The air is silent as you continue your contemplation. Hmm, yeah. Relationships deepen with our air. Um, so now you vassalize... Okay, so I guess we're just not at war with them anymore, huh? Lubu, Han Empire, Cheng Chao. Right. And we're... Okay, so you're over here. Alright. Well, we're not going to be killing Lu, since she is now a vassal. What sucks, though, is that we lost our tributary status with her. Hmm. Well, we still have Sao Sao, though, so I, I guess that's okay. I guess. Hmm. A long way to go. Oh, man. Lupu himself is now in the game. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Let's go into the water. We are coming for Lubu. And Han is basically going to be like our bodyguard army. Man, no one of, like, legend, well, not legend status, but none of like, the main players have ever been available for us. Unfortunate. So yeah, so now Lubu is there. Hmm. We are going to be running out of military supplies. Let's just slowly creep up. Ambush success chance only 45%. <sighs> hmm. Well, you know, it's going to be a couple turns, so let's force march back to friendly territory. And then we'll come back later. And you are now losing troops because you are out of supplies. I'm going to try and pass you up, try and keep you over here and away from friendly territory. Fu, Fu is going to stay in Renan. Gong Sun Zhu is going to stay in Shang Zia. And we need to we need to battle people, man. But we're not gonna fight Cao Cao. Hmm. Actually, let's stay in the iron mine. That's probably closer to where we would need to be. All right, speaking of, let's upgrade the iron mine. What do we got here? Money. And this would be more military supplies. We'll go with the money. And then we are 
not taxing somebody. You. We will continue to not tax you. Man, you're not even tax exempt and you're at plus 22. That's, that's pretty good. It's pretty good. Well, I guess that is our turn. Uh. Guangsun Zan. Why? Oh, and Cao Cao is just taking his territory. <laughs> no one wants this, Lubu. Gong Suzan has betrayed me. I left an army for him over here and everything. And he never utilized it. Huh. All right. Okay. Well. Oh man, we're actually also running out of food. I was hoping he would take advantage of this at some point. Although I guess we... Right, we were at peace. I couldn't have helped him anyway. Gosh darn it. I'm an idiot. Well, we now may use Huang Fu against Gong Suzan. Since he has betrayed us, and he's lost all of his territory in the south, and clearly Cao Cao wants to kill him. This is interesting. Hello, Liu, or Lubu. Hmm. I'm not gonna be able to get to you, right? Because you're across the river? Hmm. Maybe we'll apply some more pressure. I definitely need the Bandit Queen to, to fight Lubu. That just needs to happen. But Han and Sao, I think they are going to deviate. They're going to meet up with Wang Fuji. I'm going to issue an ultimatum. Since you have betrayed me, I will give you a chance. Because I'm married to your son, I will give you a chance. Don't mess this up. Okay. Smart man. You will now become our tributary. Ooh, look at that income. Smart man. It sucks though, because both of my tributaries are now fighting each other. And I don't think I can have peace be uh, between them until they decide on their own. Flexibility. Counteract corruption? Yes. Okay, does that mean that their assignments are over? We also have a clay warrior. It's a fancy clay warrior. And how do you explain that to his son? How do you go to your husband like, uh, by the way, I murdered your father. <laughs> I'm glad he's, he accepted the tributary status. That would have been an awkward conversation. Very awkward. But it really sucks. Sao Sao and him need to make peace, man. I just can't. 
It's weird though because they're both my tributaries, but I don't think I can exert any kind of diplomatic flexing on them to stop them from fighting. They're not vassals, they're just giving me money. Alright, let's lower our corruption. Man, I wish I could. Yeah, so you're just gonna be sitting there. God, the money though is very nice. Here, our public order is fine. We have the fish trader, we have the farmlands, we have the farm supply storage, so therefore we probably grab also the land development. And this is going to be another place where we go all in on food. It may seem like overkill because we're sitting at 27, but I mean, I think the city cap is level 10, okay? Level 10, we've got four, we've got level four, we've got up here, we don't even have a level 10 yet. Four, this is, a, our highest is a seven. Six, six, seven over here. So there's still three additional levels. Each one of those is going to be taking up more food. So like the amount of food we're going to need to have fully upgraded cities is insane. I don't even know if there's that much you can make in this game to have every single city like that. Here. Here we're going to do a round of tax exemption. I think in on ping. Hmm. And we would rather do the farm supply storage. Okay, so we'll do that. For our armies, uh, you're hanging out in Runan, right? Husband's hanging out in the south. Oh, wait. Oh, you're, you were chasing the other army. Okay. So now, Fu. Fu, what do you do? Oh, wait, no, no, no. Fu's going to go to the Iron Mine, right. It's Yin that is the one that is flexible. Yin. Where would it make sense to keep you? We have coverage in Runan. We have coverage in the south-south, the deep south. We've got two armies over here against Lu Bu. Man, if things go wrong with Cao Cao, it'd be bad. Let's move you into the town. And Wang Fuji is... Well, I was going to potentially march them up to Guang Suzan, but now we don't need to do that. But we do need some kind of army on our eastern side in case things break down with the duchy and are getting Cao Cao. But man, this like army's not doing anything. But I guess that's okay. We have the money for them to not do anything. It's just this sucks. Lo losing our infamy. We will see if uh Guang Suzan can grind Cao Cao down to the point where they can make peace. Now, honestly, I think if I wasn't, because I'm kind of, you know, role-playing this game out a little bit. If we if we were not married to the sun, I would actually prioritize just to take this over. Because, honestly, Cao Cao is giving us enough money. I mean, this extra money is obviously fantastic. But guaranteeing securing of our northeastern border and not having, having to really worry about it, I find that better than having to possibly worry about a rebellion here. But, I mean, you know, killing the father of our husband it seems like it may be a bad thing. Guang Suzan has signed a peace treaty with Lu Bu. That's fine. Cao Cao is fighting Ma Zia, who is part of our coalition, which this is getting really weird. Right? You're part of my coalition, Ma Zia? This name has flipped a few times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, man. Cao Cao, don't you betray me, man. I need your money. Please. Uh, Lu Bu's going up the river. Wait, we can actually catch him here? Oh, Lu Bu. Caught you with your pants down there, friend. Oh, wait. No, this is okay. I'm not a... 
I'm not at war with you anymore. Right? No. I was at war with Han at some point. But that was... That's past. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. That could have been awkward. Ooh. Yin Li. What do we got? You do have arrows. You have the hidden axes. So I'm assuming we can apply fire arrows to the hidden axes. Also, this does night battles, which are fantastic. So yes, we will grab that. Now Zhang Jing is hot on the heels of Lu Bu. Um, you are going in there. You're securing the east there, Huang Fu. And basically, we're just kind of getting in position, waiting for things to pop off against some big player. Most likely the duchy, would be my guess. Okay. 12k. Well, let's see what we do with 12k. We can probably upgrade... Ah, uh, you know what? We'll leave another turn or two before we upgrade the cities. Let's do farm supply storage for the buff to farms. And die... We will upgrade the temple... Sure. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll need it eventually. Here we'll upgrade the farm. Shangdong. Or dang, sorry. Uh, this is another farming place? It is. And we have the farber or farm labor camp. So then we do the grain or land development. Do land development. Hello, Craftsman Shack. We're gonna upgrade to the police headquarters here because our public order is now even, which we wanted to be at least in the positive. Confucius Shrine, we will upgrade that because eventually we will need to anyway. Changsha, upgrade this trade port. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. And then I think that's going to do it for this turn. I know we have a lot of garrison armies, which is a kind of a waste of potential. But until we secure Lu Bu, I don't really want to go on anybody right now. But we'll probably join the war against the Duchy again after we secure the Han Empire. So right here, we are rooting for Guang Suzan to beat Cao Cao. He is running away. I have to check again. Are they still at war? I think they are, right? What? Wait a minute. I got kicked out of my own coalition? Remove a coalition. We will vote to remove Thai Brotherhood from the coalition. The betrayal! What? Are you crazy? I'm the one who brought you in! <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's negotiate here, buddy. Only have 2.5. No deal. I have been betrayed. No deal. Yeah. Wait, why is the Han Empire no longer my enemy? What? Alright, so they are now friends. The puppet Han Emperor captured Lu Bu greater than Han Z. Wait, what? From Lu Bu by. What? The Emperor's been captured again. He came in and took this? Man, Salsa had an army over here too? But I was just about to... As Prime Minister of the Emperor, you may annex Han... Oh, I'm glad I did not sign a non-aggression pact with you. Two brothers, their bonds forged in war and strengthened by strife, sit around a campfire in the dimming light of evening. They share tales of glory and memories of friends long gone. Their smiles are wistful and their thoughts bittersweet, but they are glad above all to have one another for support. 
Gongsun Zhu and Tian Yu. <laughs> Who thought the moon was the sun. How will I ever forget? Well, this just turned weird. So I've been kicked out of my own coalition. Wait, what? We're still allies? Hold on. What? Didn't they kick me out? I'm confused. Coalition of Tempered Steel. Man, that is actually very strong. What? How am I... What? What? I must have misread- No, it said kicking us out, right? I'm confused. Hmm. Going to an encamp status. We are not done with- With Han, uh, Zen over here. But first, Lubu. Gosh. I'm very confused. Hmm. And then the other Luber army went this way, huh? Oh, man. Where to send you? Let's just back down the river. We will upgrade you. Because you don't even take any food at this point. You will by minus four. So let's hold off. Well, I mean, at this point. Ah, no, no. Hold off. Upgrade the bandits. Upgrade Tributary Hall. <sighs> huh. Hmm. Interesting. Alright, so you are just currently doing absolutely nothing. Attempt to manipulate the spy into an, a general. We can discredit another character. She's super happy. You're super happy. Man, everybody is super happy with you, man. So that's not going to do anything. Hmm. Lower their trade power again, I guess. And we don't need to infiltrate army right now. If anything, I should probably pursue a military appointment. Let's do that too. Our spies efforts to impress have not gone unnoticed. Their false master has openly favored the military candidacy should a command become available. Okay. We are gonna be losing our legendary status. It's a damn shame, Lubu. That was your only chance. 
Maybe I would have let you live. Where are you moving? So you're fighting against uh, Jialong, okay. Dutch of Wu vassalized Ma Zia. What? So they left our coalition and they are vassalized by the Dutch. What are you doing? And they join a war against Gong Suzan. Oh my god. The betrayal! Again! My army is trespassing. Is that right? Lu Bu. He's level eight. You're damn right I'm gonna try and duel him. My guess is he's not going to accept that duel. All cower in fear of Zhang Jiang. Tiger Hunter. The Baron ba Baroness Bandit, Bandit Baroness. Let us attack from the corner, shall we? We're going to tear some walls down with uh, the fire. Oh yeah, one of these is the fist, right? Yeah, so we haven't actually looked at these. So forgot to do a close-up of them. So fists of the band bandit queen? Fists of the bandit queen. So they are heavily armored, but they lose their gorilla uh, stat, or their um, snipe and stealth stuff. That's why I think these have more utility. Because they can snipe and remain stealth. So that just is like better than just slightly heavier armor to me. But oh well. We need at least one of them. So you're going to be on firing your weapons. Put the shield infantry first. G militia behind. Okay. Okay. Four. Put you on one. Five. Let's do this. Target that corner with your fire trebuchet. Lubu's marching out towards us. Alright then. You, you stay out of this? No. Engage. Doesn't want to duel. Ah, oh, come on. Come on, Lubu. Give the people what they want. Fight me! Very well, Lubu. Nope, that's not the one who's going to kill you. Also, didn't I get hurt? I guess I did. I forgot to put the fire arrows on. Oh, 
Ah, you suck, Lubu. Your camp is on fire, Lubu. Oh, actually, shit, your camp's on fire. I'm in there. Running from the bandit queen? Where are you? There you are. He is afraid. Greatest warrior of China. <laughs> Stop running around in circles and kill each other. Ooh. Man, he really wants to go after Q. Your troops are leaving you, Lubu. Come here. Are there any more people to kill? Alright, just cancel that. Just keep. Oh my god. No, 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 no. Stop, 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 stop. Stop. This is the Bandit Queen. No one else get involved in this. Where are you going? Jesus. Nope. Stop it. Get him! What are you doing? You will never die. That's a big horse. Hit him! Just riding around in circles! He's like refusing to fight her. Come on, Bandit Queen. You're embarrassing yourself. Oh, there it is. There it is. How much health do you have left? She was barely even touched. No wonder he didn't want to duel her. Look at her standing over his corpse. Yeah, take that, Lubu. We know who the greatest warrior in China is. He did kill 241 people while I was chasing him around and him refusing to fight. Uh, he didn't give us what we wanted. I thought of all people, Lubu would at least accept a duel from uh, Jiang Jing. Nope, even he's afraid of her.
，这就是轻视我等的代价。Oh, we didn't capture him either. Get out of my face! I don't want your son. I want Flubu. 俘虏也要吃饭，都放了吧。我用不上他们。行动起来！ Not satisfied with winning the battle, our general overtakes the retreating enemy troops and lays a successful ambush, further reducing the numbers that can stand against us. Damn, Lu was like, uh-uh, not letting them go. While we were chasing Lu Bu, she was playing an ambush. That's pretty cool. Who was killed? Oh, we, oh okay, so we ended up killing Lu, uh, Lu Yi because... Because our heir took it upon herself to run him down. We were like, nah, you can go. So we so we ransomed the prisoners, and then Lu was like, mm, how, about, how about no? Huang Fuji has gained honest. Alright. Well, let's go back, and then we're going to need to take Chang on. So I guess that means we're going to declare war on you. Oh, what a weird situation we're in. Upgrade that farm. Q leveled up. So we want hamstring. So we will grab endurance. Minus 50% attrition from military. Well, that doesn't matter because he's not commanding. But does give them fatigue resistance. So that's nice. And then we can grab hamstring. And I thought I had already grabbed. Oh no, we're on our way to grab the poison blade. That's what it is. We're one level away from that. I wish I had the poison blade, because look at that thing. 20 kit. Like, as he was running away from us, we just throw a dagger in his back and he just dies from poison. That would have been pretty cool. Oh, I, I forgot to hit apply, didn't I? I did. Alright. Well, so that means we now need to go to the Jade Mine. So we're, that's where we're gonna go. And Han, one of my most trusted generals. What do we do? What do we do? Take a look at the diplomacy again. So now it's just Jia Long and Shi Hui. So our only allies are now in the southwest. Ma, the Ma clan has betrayed us. Gong Suzan has betrayed us, but recognizes our power and has bowed to becoming our tributary. This coalition of tempered steel with the Duchy of Wu, Liu Bei, the Ma clan, Cao Cao, our tributary, which makes this weird, Huang Shi. So basically, all of this is in a coalition against us. Our, is our coalition still fighting right now? They are. They are still heavy in war. I think we're going to join them again after we take the seat of the Emperor, or we take the Emperor. We then will, that means we're gonna be fighting against, uh, we're gonna have to take all of this. I'm gonna, okay, so that's, all right. So that means we send Han down the river. We're going to be fighting a lot of people. But first we try and isolate the Han clan here. Because they are not in a coalition. Right? They're on their own. So we first try and take them, take their lands, and then we, if not at war yet, we declare war against the Duchy of Wu again. You have to be careful. We're spread pretty thin here. I know we're making a lot of money, but if we go to war against the entire coalition, that means we lose Cao Cao. And if we lose Cao Cao, our money is gone. That's, it's like, we're on the edge of a blade here. I know it looks like we're very powerful, but, oh boy. If he, if he goes to war with us, it's, it's a bad time. It's going to be a very bad time for us. I mean, Gong Suzan is a nice backup, but we're going to need more. Let's let's finally level up one of these cities. Hmm. This is where we have a salt mine. What kind of money does a salt mine give? Probably industry. We should have the buff from that. Hmm.
Oh, I don't have enough money for what I want to build there. Okay. So I think we end the turn here. So yeah, this could just go super bad, man. If Sasa wises up and realizes the position he would put us in if he and the Dutchie declare war on us at the same time. Oh, oh boy. Because that would be us going to war against most of China. Our allies are very far away. Okay, so I think it's time to finish Lubu. I shall give you a fight, Lubu, even though this is not you. I wonder if he destroys faction. I wonder if he then just goes into the character pool, and if he does, there's no way he's going to join us, right? Oh my god, what if I have to fight Lubu under the Duchy of Wu? What if he joins the Duchy and somehow, like, forces his way to become heir like he did with Tom Shuo and then he betrays Sun Quan and takes over the Duchy? That would be amazing. That would be an amazing story for Lubu. Probably not gonna happen. But that would be amazing. Alright, so. Hmm. Yeah, I guess that's fine. We're just gonna have our cav be over here. I may end up just putting them on the or like unmounted, because then they're just sword infantry, depending on how many spears they have, I guess. So we're just gonna make you all group four, group two. And we have fire arrows, so we can actually destroy those towers. I don't think we're going to wait. I think we're just going to move up. We're going to target these towers with our fire arrows. Oh, so they do not get, um... Oh, of course they wouldn't get the fire arrows, because they're not under the Red New that uh, has them. Because that's not an army-wide thing. That's a retinue thing. Wow, one salvo? Well, Alright then. Nice! Wow, it's super easy to destroy these towers. These Onyx Dragons are just so good. They have so much ammo, their range is very nice. That tower is now going to be on fire. They're burning down, and it's time to go. You'll be in reserve. Just rain death down upon them. Jeez. My god, look at all that fire. We're unbreakable, so the negative to morale doesn't really apply to us. Ooh, wow. Wow. 
Doesn't want to duel. Well, damn. Alright, they are running. Focus on those. Focus on that. Ooh, 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 ooh. She is actually winning. She is winning. Pull back. We don't need your debuff. Alright, I'll focus on that calf. Take them down. Come on, come on, come on, get up. All right, she has that tenacity of steel. Great buff. That only affected these two didn't hit these? Mother. We got, um, okay, yeah, we got you out of there. Let your cab deal with the rest of this. Just pile them up there. This probably isn't going to do anything because they're just piling on friendly bodies, but we're just still in there anyway. What is this up to? Oh, we're on phase four. 50% melee damage and 50% armor piercing. Damn, that's just such a cool buff. Such a cool buff. Let's try and get you up here. Um, break those. Range block chance does not matter much here. They are putting up a pretty damn good fight. Wait, we're on phase one again? What happened there? I thought it was going to be phase five next. Stay in reserves. Chase them. This garrison has definitely put up a lot more of a fight than I was anticipating. Especially in a night battle. Stay away, do not die. We're gonna pull some of these to try and do Richard. Oh my god! Oh, there we go. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. Do not lose my trebuchet crew. There we go. Good job, Garrison. They, um,. You, you did fall well. Honestly, they fought better than Lubu. <laughs> the time of the Han is ended. Uh -oh. The will of heaven is shifting. Uh -oh. The celestial empire rests on the tip of a sword. The emperor's old champions now stoke their own imperial ambitions. 
The old ways scatter like leaves before the coming storm. Their time is over. Change is carried on the wind. Oh, shit. We are officially a bandit queen. A new empress for a new empire. Let none doubt your brilliance or your power. You have stood atop the bodies of everyone who has opposed you. Yet still some remain. Cut them apart. Let none deny you the right you have claimed. You have declared yourself emperor. Now it is time to prove it and lead China out of chaos. Become emperor of China. Okay, so the other um, people rising up. The Duchy of Wu. Makes sense. Another warlord has declared themselves emperor. Is this the will of heaven, or are they the traitorous dog to be put to the axe? Oh no, Cao Cao has declared himself emperor. Oh no. Kingdom of Wei left the coalition of the Kingdom of Wu. Oh, there we go. Kingdom of Wei and Wu. So that's pretty much canon, at least. And then you got us. The Three Kingdoms. With another pretender declaring their intent, there are now three kingdoms vying to bring an end to the chaos. The Puppet Han Emperor abdicates. Times are changing for all. The Emperor, long a puppet of other warlords, has abdicated, and with him the Han Dynasty has ended. Who will bring peace to our turbulent lands? You have earned the right to claim a higher title and rank for yourself, giving you more power and influence to wield. Oh boy. Unite what is divided. Your mandate is righteous, and a new dynasty for China has emerged. Yet other petty warlords have proclaimed themselves as false emperors in an attempt to claim your rule illegitimate. End these pretenders and unite China under your rightful mandate. Conquer and control the emperor seats of Wu and Wei. So... I still have them as a... That, there's no way I can have them as a tributary. That's got to probably stop Wufan is leveled up good for you buddy all right we have a person returning from assignments wooden ox damn straight so now what are we the Thai Dominion no longer the Thai Brotherhood we are the Thai Dominion fighting against the kingdom of wait the kingdom of whose capital is right next to the kingdom of Wei's capital oh my god oh my we could just blitz through and take their seats oh man okay also we have another court position we have another administrator who is unhappy let me take a look at this not that screen this screen Tong, you're... We have so many legendary people. Look at that. Cool icon. I never noticed a dragon before. Is that because we're the leader of, um... You know, one of the three kingdoms? Thai Dominion. Alright, anyway. You are at 59. No one is unhappy. 48. So it's kind of just a matter of who would best fit as an administrator. Out of who we have left. Han, my most loyal general, though. Yeah. Easiest choice of my life. Han is the best. Uh, you are going to administer... What are you going to administer? Runan. Runan is a nice central location of our southern territories. You'll be the administrator of Runan. <gasps> we have a prime minister now! Who... Oh man, maybe I should have made that Han. Shoot. Well, too late now. I didn't even look at that. Q, actually. So what what does this do? Um, faction wide, only this character is prime minister, heir, or faction leader. Plus two starting rank for polearm infantry and shock cav. Plus two satisfaction. Ugh, that's actually pretty weak though, Q. <laughs> that's pretty weak. What about our what about our uh, our husband? Actually, that probably would be... Like, this is... Listen, this is our lover and our true love of our life. But, officially, Gong Su Zhu, you know. 
So, Gongsun Zhu would give us public order, 25 bonus uh, for units per season, plus 9 morale when defending, satisfaction, satisfaction, I'm assuming to everybody? Not just to himself? And then plus 10% trade influence. Gongsun Zhu. Which opens up another administrative slot. Who deserves that? Probably she. She, what do you do? More money from commerce, construction costs, and population growth. It's not that great. Hmm. All right. So you are going to administer... You do lower construction costs, and we're going to have a lot of construction needed in the south. You will administer Jiangxia. There we, you have a full court. Full court. How old are you now? 55? How old are we? 48. Whew. We still have some time. How are our babies doing? Hey, look at that Zhang, uh, Jiang Rang. Age 8. Zhang Jiang. And then Zhang Sui. Age 3. Eight, seven, and three. Okay. Baby's growing up. Oh my goodness, we are... I didn't even look at our um, faction rank. So, being the bandit queen... Oh no, we're, we're empress now, aren't we? We bypassed bandit queen already. So, empress unlocks palace guard elite units, cancels alliances with other emperors. Once a faction leader has earned enough prestige to be named king... They will also claim the right to rule and proclaim themselves Emperor, which will make their capital seats of great power. Faction leaders can also become Emperor by capturing these seats as a dem demonstration of their influence. Unite China by bringing all Emperor seats under your control and by owning 95 counties. So we have a Palace Guard Elite Unit? Well, first off, we'll, we'll look at that in a moment. So, I'm assuming the Kingdom of Wei is no longer a tribute. Maybe this cancels after next turn. There's no... Is Tributary a way around that? Because if they were a vassal, they would definitely break off on their own. But... They have to They have to cancel that, right? They have to. But then we got the Kingdom of Wu. So, what are the factions like? Are they still in the same coalition? They can't be, right? No. So, the Duchy... Or the Kingdom, sorry, of Wu... Remains on... Uh, in the Coalition of Tempered Steel. And the Kingdom of Wei is now by itself. And then Lubu is basically dead. So now there is no child emperor to take. Right? Like, if we zoom back in here... Yeah, like, there's no icon over Chang'an. <laughs> they took it at the very end when the Han no longer matters. Uh, Wufan, that's lovely up here. Armor piercing damage, yes. Oh, no, we already have that one. Flaming shot, yes. Take the flaming shot. We gotta think here. We gotta think. What are we doing? What are we doing diplomatically? The Kingdom of Wei is a tributary state. I think that's going to stop. I would prefer you to be an ally. Jin Help me take out the Moss Man. Or a tributary. They will not be with that. Hmm. So the Han Empire is still technically out there. They have trade. They're not a vassal to anybody though now, are they? They're their own thing. Absorb this faction's assets and lands into your own. Destroying their faction. The characters of this faction will seek employment under new lords. Ho. Oh. Okay, they're not they're not about that. Hmm. Hmm. 
No one wants that either. Let's do a quick deal. Uh, yes, confirm. Are there any trade deals out there? Confederations? No, 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 no. Demand abdication? Not quite yet. Support vassal independence? Maybe. That would take a long time to work that out. What about... Who was the other one? Uh, Wong? We need to find another good way in to fight against the Kingdom of Wu, but without... Ah, shit. Hmm. Hmm. What about you? Huh! They would actually become my tributary. They're also almost dead. Become my tributary, my friend. I will try to protect you. And then... Okay, yeah, they won't confederate. Um, invites? No, they don't want that. Okay. So we've got you tripatized. The yellow turbans. What can I even do with... Oh, I can only fight you. Okay. And then you didn't want to do any deals either, right? Yeah, okay. So you're done. Lubu's basically dead. At least we got them as a tributary, so that's got, uh, cool. But they may be dead soon. Anything else before the turn... Actually, this is going to be the end of the episode. So anything else before that happened? Oh, the palace guards. Yes. So, where where are you? Oh, I can't recruit here, though. We need to go to back to friendly territory. Who am I going to be fighting? Definitely the Duchy of Wu, right? Which means we're going to be taking out the Ma Clan. Oh, I'm spread so thin, and the Duchy of Wu is so far and vast. Hmm... Now, the thing is, too, their seats of power are right here. Like, we can bum rush the Kingdom of Wei if they betray me. In any case, we need to move you. Where are we going to move you to? I feel like we sail you down the river and you go after these seats of power, since they are so close to what we already own. I'm surprised they didn't leave it to, uh, the capital down here. It just seems so risky to have these two capitals so close to each other. So risky. Do you have everyone positioned where they would want to be? I think that's fine. I think all these armies throughout here are fine. Kuang Fuji is fine because we're going to probably need to fight these people. Let's level that up. I think we're also still t um, having someone tax exempt, aren't we? Who was it? Okay, so that gives us some more food and they can have some two turns without having to worry about anything. Hmm. Sure, level that up. And again, we may be losing some money here. Maybe. Like, which one of these do we level up, though? Maybe we focus on the higher level ones already? This will take minus six. We will upgrade that. And then Han and the river. It all depends on who we fight. It all depends on who we fight. Like, we can move here to get ready to fight Zhang Fei. <sighs> Who do we fight, friends? What makes the, what's the play here? If we declare on the Dutch on the Kingdom of Wu, we gotta fight the Ma clan. And they're rather strong over here. We have allies down here. It's hard to declare war on Wei simply because they're more tributary. I guess it depends on what happens next turn. So let's end it here, friends. We are the uh, Thai Dominion, 
And we will see what happens next turn. I'll try to remember the palace guards. Can I, actually, can anyone just recruit palace guards? I, I doubt that, right? Who, where's someone we can recruit? It has to be something specific to our leader. Surely. Reach his rent. Oh, uh, swap unit. Oh, defenders of earth. What? Protectors of heaven. What? What? The hell are the defenders of earth? Bombardment, good in melee, and they have oil arrows? What the what? And the protectors of heaven. Good against mounted, good armor. Um, Hold on, turn this comparison off. I just want to see your stats. There we go. 53% armor, 41% melee evasion, 50% chance to block, and they have a glaive? What, are they just moving that glaive to block arrows? Holy shit, what else am I missing out on? What about you? Do you have any other... Yeah, okay, so you also have these two. I must have unlocked those units and I didn't even realize, but those are not the palace guards. It's just something else. We'll have our husband grab some. Nope, hit the wrong button, sorry. Hmm. I think you just get more cav. And then here. So, Onyx Dragons are cheaper than the Protectors of Heaven. Protectors of Heaven have only 150 range. They have less ammo. They have 1k! I didn't even see that. 1k armor piercing? Hold on. What? Ranged explosion ignores armor. Cannot be blocked. And a 54% melee evasion. Decent combat stats up here. 29 melee attack rate. Their hit points are very low. What else is up here? They are disciplined. They are immune to scare. They are unbreakable. And a, a, immune to attrition. Oh, gosh darn it. Alright, well let's grab one of those. For sure. We'll still focus on the Onyx Dragon. Oh, damn, that's the last thing I do. Let me pin those. What are their things? They scare enemies. They also have attrition immune. Charge reflection versus mounted. They are also disciplined. I mean to scare. Unbreakable. They have loose spear wall. So 10% melee evasion. 100% um, negative to their range block. Cannot run. But plus 10% melee evasion. So that means 51% melee evasion with 53% armor. And they also have hollowed square. Which increases melee evasion. And immobilizes them. Gives them charge reflected versus mounted. Which I think they already have, right? Yeah. Okay. That's pretty cool. I'm going to end this episode here. We're now one of the three kingdoms, which feels pretty awesome. And we'll see if it all comes crumbling down if Cao Cao decides to stop being our tributary. Which I feel like is going to happen. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. Take care.